So welcome to our webinar. Um, this is the radio frequency microneedling um, presentation. And so I'm just gonna go through this for you again. If you have any questions during the presentation, please use the Q&A window of the Zoom webinar control and our product giveaways. Um, if you participate in our post-event survey, you will be entered into a drawing to win an aftercare recovery kit. And to introduce our guest speaker is Dr. Maud. Um, Dr. Maud is an experienced birth certified physician and celebrity beauty expert um, with aesthetic practice in Brentwood and Beverly Hills, California. And we're presently in the Beverly Hills location. Uh, to give you a technology review, uh, of the radio frequency micro needling system. Um, the radio frequency micro needling system, actually we have two different platforms. We have the pro and the pure. The pure is on the left hand side here and the pro is on the right. The differences between the two are pretty simple. Um, it has to do with the depth of penetration of the actual applicators and the additional items that you can add on to the IndyMed platform. So this is a great example of what happens when you're doing radio frequency microneedling in regards to the thickening of the epidermis. This shows a 400% increase in the thickening of the epidermis after one treatment with the radio frequency uh, microneedling system. And so what are the advantages of using this? Well, they're microneedles, they're minimally invasive they provide micro wounds into the tissue. Um, you have complete control of the depths from 0.1 um, millimeter or 0.5 millimeters all the way down to 3.5 millimeters with the pure and down to five millimeters with the pro system. And you also get complete control of those depths and you deliver energy deep into the dermis. And so the advantage of the radio frequency is that you are able to have a volumetric heating into the area and with a controlled thermal effect. So you're getting a double impact of both thermal injury and a, a micro needles giving the mechanical injury in the area. And it's suitable for all skin types and there's no need for safety accessories to actually treat um, with this device. And it's in a fractionated mode. So we have a very short dwell time. You're getting small micro fractional micro pulses into the area. And that's the nice thing about this. So instead of you getting a really big surge of energy, you get micro pulses of energy, which helps to deliver it more consistently. And it actually aids in patient comfort. And so what are the treatments that you would use for radiofrequency microneedling? So acne scars, hyperpigmentation, fine lines, stretch marks, wrinkles, deep wrinkles, cellulite, hyperhidrosis, scars of injury or surgery, um, dilated pores, loose and sagging skin can all be treated with the unit. So as I talked a little bit earlier about the intensive needles, they're very sharp needles and it delivers the energy um, into the tissue from one millimeter deep down to seven millimeters deep with the pro. The depths of penetration of the needles actually are down to five millimeters, but the energy is gonna go down deeper. They're gold plated and super sharp needles that allow for smooth, smooth and minimal pain and epidermal penetration. And this is the result of a patient. Um, and this is the first day, this is the baseline, um, what we have here. This is what was prior to the treatment. This is immediately after the treatment. And this is one day after. This is two days after. And this is one week after. So you can see with this, so the journey with your patients are that you're not gonna have major trauma to the tissue, even though we are going deeper 
than what we normally do in your traditional microneedling treatments. With, this is a great before and after picture. This is one month after an intensive treatment. Um, and this was actually for facial lifting and contouring. And you can notice the differences that you see in the jawline here, and then also around the neck area. This is another um, neck tightening that you notice in this area. And this is four months after one treatment with the radio frequency microneedling system. And this patient was 72 years old. This is one, um, this is actually after one treatment. And if you can notice here a textorial improvement um, with the patient um, actually after the one treatment. This is a stretch mark treatment. And you'll notice the differences here. And this was immediately after one treatment that was done actually at one of our workshops. So this patient, was a treatment that was done actually with five. If you'll notice here in the beginning, with the acne scars, severe scarring in this area, this was actually after three treatments. And this is the results after, after the fifth treatment. And you can see the differences here between the before and the after the fifth treatment. Actually, treatments are one month apart. Um, when you're actually doing these treatments. So what do you use post-procedure? And Dr. Maud is gonna get a little bit more in depth with this. So what are some of the um, products that you would use post-procedure? First of all, we wanna protect the skin because we've actually put the needles down into the area. We wanna protect it. We wanna actually to moisturize or to hydrate it because of transdermal water loss. We want to make sure that there's something that's going to hydrate it, something that's cool and soothing that you would use post-procedure, along with um, something that's going to aid us in the road to recovery so that the patient is on the right path to recovery post-procedure. Now, this is the time where we're going to go and do the live demonstration. So this will give you a chance to ask questions to Dr. Maud as she does the demonstration. The first part of it that she will actually start um, with the patient um, treating the area and please engage with her and ask questions as she goes through. Thank you. Okay, we're in the treatment room, Kevin. Are you able to hear us? Yeah. Are you able to hear us? Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, we're ready. Okay, great. So we are treating this 44 year old patient who has had four babies and has some residual stretch marks from that. And she's never had any treatment before. Um, and I really love treating patients that have scarring, either acne, post-surgical, post-traumatic, or stretch marks using radiofrequency because the thermal heat does so many great things to the deep layer as well as to the surface of the skin. So we're gonna get collagen production, increase in elastin, and 
skin tightening all at the same time. And we're going to do our treatment today using the Ending Med Pure System. And this is pretty intuitive. Simply select the area that you want to treat, and there's many presets here. So you can follow the preset, or if you're if you want to perhaps deliver a little bit more energy, go a little bit deeper, you have the option to make those changes. So today we're going to demonstrate using our presets because they are good depth and energy level for what we want to do today. So stretch marks, you can select, and you can see that the energy is from four. So this is anywhere from 62 to 64 um, degrees, 68 degrees, sorry, and we're at number four. We're going at a three millimeter depth and I'm going to hit start. Now we're using a 25 pin non-insulated tip. Okay, so we're going to go down. Ready? Okay. And in doing the procedure, you don't want to draw the needles out before they exit the skin. You want to make sure that you have delivered the energy, and then you gently lift off and you create just a small overlap. I say about 10%. Doing okay? Great. And you're really not going to experience a lot of bleeding here. Pinpoint bleeding is one of the things that we tend not to see when using radio frequency because the thermal heat is coagulating the blood. She's just gonna look a bit pink and that typically lasts maybe 48 hours. And you can see she's very comfortable. She's doing great. We're going at a very deep level and delivering quite a bit of thermal energy. One thing I like to do is stretch the tissue. I think that that keeps it nice and taut and it gives the needles just a smoother delivery. Also, I think makes it a little less painful for the patient. Any questions? For stretch marks, I suggest anywhere from four to eight treatments, sometimes more, just depending on the results you want to achieve. And typically treatments are done anywhere from four to six weeks apart. You can see that her skin is turning pink and not, not a lot of bleeding going on. Now, the benefit of using a non insulated pin, here I'm going to show you what it looks like. You can see the needles coming out. You can capture that. See them coming up. So a non-insulated tip, the thermal energy is delivered along the entire course of the needle. And so you're giving a lot more energy and you get a better result that way versus a non-insulated tip, you're getting energy delivered at the needle tip itself. 
any other questions? No. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, someone had asked me this question about the topical numbing that's used. Yeah, we use a combination, a BLT combination, and you can see she's numbing here. Typically with the BLT about um, 30 minutes prior to the treatment. And you can see she's really comfortable. Anything, any other questions? So how many passes, this depends on how large your area is. So we are gonna treat both sides. So um, typically I do one pass at a, at a depth on her, we're gonna do it about um, three millimeters. You can do an additional pass at a varying depth, but um, I'm gonna stick here with the three millimeter. We should get a nice result after a series of treatments. And so follow-up care for this, obviously we want to keep the area clean. I advise patients no heavy exercise or excessive sweating, no saunas, no infrared saunas, things of that nature. Um, and because this treatment area, it's kind of on the belly, I always say to patient, you know, just sort of like loose clothing. We don't want to wear anything tight over the area. Um, the redness should subside in about, you know, 48 hours. And if you continue with the proper aftercare, you're going to help heal much faster. And we're going to discuss a bit more of the aftercare when we do our face patient. But my two favorite products to send a patient home with are a gentle cleanse, a hyaluronic acid, and the growth factor mask. And the hyaluronic acid is really important because after needle, your skin can get a bit dry. And so to help keep the hydration, the hyaluronic acid is a really nice product. The number of sessions. And so um, I had mentioned earlier, but the number of sessions when it comes to acne scars, post-traumatic, post-surgical scars, or stretch marks anywhere, I'd say from about six to eight treatments. And it can be more, it just depends on the results that you're going for. And who wouldn't you treat the stretch marks or stretch mark treatment? You know, really any Fitzpatrick type patient can be treated with radio frequency needling. So it's very good for all skin types. Certain patients you don't want to treat are immunocompromised patients, patients with underlying vascular disease, um, you know, immunocompromised, active infection, things of that nature. So we're, we're ready for our, um, to bring in our next patient. Great, you did great. And she's falling asleep on us. <laughs> and we're going to take her off camera and finish the other side. And so, Dr. Mott, would you like to talk a little bit more about the skincare now when we transition to bring the next patient in? So, I always say when you're investing in a radio frequency treatment, a costly treatment for your skin, it's important to maintain the results at home. And so I always say, if you wanna grow a garden, you want to make sure your soil is really good. And so that's the same with the skin. You wanna make sure that your skin is fine and it's, and it's able to sort of take on the treatment and get the results of that treatment. 
And so a couple of things that I always say to patients is you want a few products. I think a very good hydrating cleanser that's gentle and not irritating to the skin is very important. You want to keep the skin cleansed, but you also don't want to break down the um, skin barrier with a harsh product. So a gentle cleanser, and I really like this one, it has botanical extracts and it's very healthy for the skin. And it can be used even when you're not in the middle of the treatment. You'll love it so much that it can be part of your daily skincare routine. So a good gentle cleanser is what I put my patients on. And I, one thing that we always use before my finagling is a copper mist hyaluronic acid serum. And I really love the combination here. Hyaluronic acid, as many of you already know, it holds about a thousand times its weight in water. And so it is, it's a potent hydrator. And when it's combined with a, a trace element like copper, you're getting benefits of um, basically cellular rejuvenation. So when you do an invasive treatment like an RF needling, you are looking for cellular regeneration and treating your skin with ceramides and peptides that are gonna help promote collagen production and restore the skin barrier is very important. And copper is an essential element that does that. It is an anti-aging, it has anti-aging properties and it also helps in healing of the skin. It works on a cellular level to promote, um, it basically prevents oxidative damage of cells. So a combination of copper and hyaluronic acid is, is wonderful. And I really don't know of many products on the market like this one. And we basically can use it safely prior to my community. You can even spray it on the patient and then you could do uh, traditional needling. But prior to RF, I don't, I do it on dry skin. So I don't spray the patient with anything. But afterwards, you can certainly use this and send the patient home with this. And this is just truly a great product just to have in your bag when you're traveling or especially now when we're masked, it's very dry and the skin is just not getting enough humidity. It's getting too much humidity. It's just too dry and spraying your face with a little bit of this mist. It's very soothing. Um, so this is one of my favorite products that I use quite a bit in my practice. And another product to send a patient home with is always great. It's a growth factor gel. And again, as the skin is rejuvenating, you want to promote the cellular healing and using a growth factor product like this is wonderful. It creates a nice barrier between the skin and sort of anything that's on top of it, sort of protects the skin. And it's one that you could just apply throughout the day as needed. And it's gonna be soothing, comforting, and it's also gonna help heal. And the other favorite of mine is always a hyaluronic acid serum, pure HA serum. And what you can do with this is use it throughout the day during your treatment in combination with the growth factor serum and even the mist. So putting this on is gonna help increase the moisture of the skin and prevent that dryness that you can experience. And HA is always a lovely product to have simply because it plumps the skin and it makes it look really fresh. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to take our um, first patient, let the first patient go. So well. And yeah. while she's doing that, Dr. Maud, I'm gonna go and explain a little bit more in depth about the buttons on, to, on the device while we do our turnover for our next patient here. And so as you see the actual um, device itself, thank you. Um, it actually has all of the presets are already taken care of for you. So when you're treating the actual forehead and it has a depth of penetration of 1.5 millimeters, it's gonna put in energy at a lower rate. It's gonna be about 62 degrees Celsius. And then it also is gonna, have your dwell time is going to be in this one setting. And then if we were going to periorbital, it's at 1.5 millimeters. Again, it's at a low energy um, level. And then also you have your cheek settings, which is going to be at 2.5 millimeters and a level of three. Again, with the energy level is between 62 and 68 degrees Celsius. The neck, again, if you notice, we're 1.5 millimeters here, and the energy level is at a medium in this section. 
And the decollete is at two millimeters, again, at a medium energy level. The hands, which is a very popular treatment, is at two millimeters with a medium energy level. And the stretch marks, as you just saw, was at three. Now, again, with the pure device, you can go down to 3.5 millimeters and again, up to 0.5 millimeters here. And just go right up and down. You're always in control. You can always override the system. And the other nice thing about the applicator itself is you see it has a continuous mode here. So you press the foot pedal one time and the device will just continue to pulse it. And then as you see our start button here. Now here's the nice thing it tells you how many pulses you actually have on your tip. Every tip has 1000 pulses in the beginning and it counts down. So you will be able to see as we begin to treat a, any area, how many pulses you have remaining and how many pulses there are to be able to do a single treatment. So that's the general overview of the basic radio frequency micro needling component. Now, what we can do with this system is we can also, we have fractional resurfacing that can be added to this device. There are body applicators that can be added to it. A large, which is done for more of the abdomen, the thighs, the buttocks and arms. And then there is the mini shaper, which is for arms and knees. And then we have the face settings and that's the fine, which actually is for periorbital cheeks and perioral. And then there's the iFind, which is a very unique applicator. It's very unique to have a device that's really primarily for periorbital and perioral. Very small, as you see the iFind applicator here. And this is the mini shaper again for the jawline and submental um, treatments. And then the next is the small. And the smaller for cheeks, necks, submental and decollete. And so as you see, your face, body and fractional on this device. And so as you move along, you can expand the platform as you would like. And the special promotion that we're gonna have for you tonight is primarily for the radio frequency micro needling system. And as you will see, each little tip that comes with the unit are just in a little sealed, box, um, sealed carton here. We're gonna take this one off and readjust it, take this tip off, wipe down the system and then begin our next treatment. So we're gonna have our next patient come in right now. Sure. <laughs> Thank 
Okay. So we're going to treat our 55 year old patient who really hasn't done anything um, in terms of sort of non invasive procedures to maintain your youth or your skin. And you, you, you still look really great. Um, so, a couple concerns that you told me about were what? Uh, pore size mm -hmm. and elasticity. Yeah, and so those are you know great concerns that this device can address. It can address fine lines, wrinkles, and as we're aging, we're losing collagen and we're losing elastin, and that's what results in a bit of the crepey appearance and, and loose appearance to the skin. And so doing a treatment that utilizes radiofrequency heat is going to deliver thermal energy to the deep dermis, which is gonna stimulate collagen and elastin. And as well, the heat is gonna give skin tightening and pore reduction. It can also help issues of hyperpigmentation. Obviously we've discussed um, stretch marks, acne scars, post-traumatic or post-surgical scarring. And so we're gonna start with your forehead and we're set on, we have pre-settings here and it's basically a pulse. We're gonna do here. Okay, ready? One, two, three. How was that? And again, here, how we do it is just a bit of an overlap. Ten percent overlap. And you can see there's essentially no bleeding. Patients up just a little bit red. And if she continues at home with her aftercare, that's gonna go down pretty quickly. Doing okay? Yes. Great. She's gonna be so happy. Very minimal pain. Good. So again here, she was pre-treated with a topical BLT for 30 minutes. And you can see here, we've, I've just done two passes, basically two rows, and she's just a bit red. A little flush as if she was at the gym. And so I'm gonna do her cheek so I can show you what that's like, and we'll just go to our pre-settings here. So the depth here, we're at about 2.5 and our energy level has increased to three. Okay, so we have to turn this way. So you can see here again, she's a bit flushed, a bit red, but there's no extreme bleeding and she doesn't look like she was scratched up. And I'm gonna treat, you can also take the device and treat under the eye area. And that's really wonderful to address sort of these fine lines and the development of just a bit of loose skin happening here. And so we'll do, the under eye area next. Okay. 
And you always want to treat on the periorbital region. You never want to treat the eye area that is above the bone. So it really has to be on the periosteum, okay? You can see this very mild redness. Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? I continue with her forehead. just asked about how many pats I'm doing. Uh, let's see, we started at a thousand. So I've done um, just about 40, 40 pulses. So I typically will do, um, I like to do two passes at varying depth, sometimes three. Depends on how much the patient can tolerate. When I'm doing multiple passes, I'll start obviously at the deepest depth, and then I will start going more superficial. How are you doing? Good. So you can see a very nice, um, even level of redness going on here, and she's tolerating it very well. She's doing great, and she might hate me now, but she's going to love me later. <laughs> Does anyone have any other questions or concerns? Someone said, could the thermal effect stimulate hyperpigmentation on higher Fitzpatrick's? It's a possibility when you are using a non-insulated needle and sometimes what I can what I will do is pre-treat the patient when I know that they're a high risk for PIA. When you're using a non-insulated needle though you do get a much um, a much better treatment because that thermal energy is being delivered through the entire depth of the needle. And they're asking how deep is the forehead? Uh, the preset on the forehead here is 1.5 millimeters deep. And it typically will do an additional pass at 1.0 and possibly one at 0.8. If the patient is quite bony, you can start your deepest pass at 1.0 or 0.8. Again, you know, the beauty is that it's customizable. You can really choose your depth, choose your energy level, depending on your patient and what you're trying to achieve. I'm doing great. Um, what is your pre-treatment protocol for higher Fitzpatrick's? Um, hydroquinone, topical hydroquinone, sometimes 8%. And how much in advance do you actually um, do that? Um, really kind of depends on the patient and what their uh, regimen is, but typically about five days prior. 
Now, do you um, designate a difference between the patient's first time and the depths of penetration as opposed to their second or third treatment? I'm sorry, I do you, didn't catch the first part of that. Do you designate a difference in the depth of penetration between the first treatment and the second treatment? Sometimes what I will do on subsequent treatments is in my might just increase the energy. I typically go deep from the beginning. And is that the same philosophy that you have or the protocol that you use when you're doing traditional microneedling or is this different because you're using radio frequency? Um, it's basically the same um, that I use with traditional, but to be very honest with you, because I have an RF device and I am just so happy with the results of this, I really don't even do traditional microneedling anymore. What you can achieve with radio frequency, it, it just, you really can't get the same effect with traditional needling. I'm just gonna do an extra pass here. Yeah. And you can see essentially no bleeding. She is, looks like she was at the gym with an intense workout or in a sauna. She looks great. And it's a beautiful, even distribution of redness here. How are you feeling? Feel great. Feel great, good. Minim minimal pain. Good. It stings great. a little, but mm -hmm. it's definitely tolerable. Great, great. You're doing wonderful. And what is the downtime that you typically see, doctor? You know, the downtime really, it, it's about, I be, to be very honest with you, my patients are back on Zoom in 48 hours. Very minimal downtime, again, because it is, it's coagulating the blood. And so you're not looking bloody or scratched up like you do with a traditional needling treatment. And this is delivering so much energy. It's just, I, I'm always surprised by how fast recovery is. But when you think of the technology, it makes sense. Now, do you ever um, pair this with PRP? Yeah, you can definitely pair this uh, treatment with PRP. You can use PRP after you're done. And obviously, uh, as you all know, PRP is great at healing. It delivers growth factors, cytokines. So it just um, complements the um, production of collagen and elastin that's going on after creating these targeted wound injuries. So it does help stimulate the healing process. Now, does it shorten the number of sessions that you would have with radio frequency? Micro I'm using, you, if I use PRP? Yes. No, um, I still do the same number of sessions. I think um, someone like this patient that's come in and looking for facial rejuvenation, anti-aging benefits, I would do a series of three treatments, four weeks apart, and use PRP or a growth factor and um, definitely would not um, decrease the amount of sessions used. What is the determination that you make between using growth factors versus using PRP? Well, I think it's um, after obtaining a medical history. I like to know if um, the patient is healthy. You're, if you're healthy, your plasma is healthy. So um, I look first at the patient's medical history. Um, and then oftentimes it can be an issue of cost for patients. Great. And doctor, this might be the number one question um, that we're always asked. Oh, How many goodness. sessions do you need to do to see results? That's a great question. And you know, to be very honest with you, you're gonna see a difference after the first session. And what you're going to see after round one, what most people see, is an appearance of just the skin looks tighter, it feels tighter, and the pores look smaller. And a lot of patients also report to me that they sense there's a bit of a luminosity in their skin. Now, when we're 
when you're talking about the collagen simulation, that's not going to happen on the first session. That really takes a good six to eight weeks. And patients start to notice a lift, an improvement in pigmentation and the fine lines and wrinkles. They start, they say after when they come for round two, they're like, you know, my makeup goes on smoother. I, I'm wearing less makeup. My skin just, it looks better. And they're starting to get compliments after round two. How are you doing? Great. So do you typically sell these in packages? I do. I do. I, I mean, nothing is really a one and done. Um, these things take a partnership with the patient. You know, if you really want to see those results and you want to stimulate the collagen, it becomes a cumulative effect. And if you really are dedicated to doing those three treatments four weeks apart, you're going to get the maximum benefit. So I um, don't really do a single one of these. I really do sell them in packages because that's when you're gonna get the maximum benefit. So to answer the question, the, there was a, someone asked a question about the tips. This is a 25 non-insulated needles in this um, applicator. So there's only one needle um, that is used, it's the 25 um, pins that are on there. And then other, other question, doctor, would you treat an area that has had fillers or Botox? Um, you know, you're not going to treat someone uh, soon after doing either fillers or Botox. I like to give at least, you know, six weeks. If someone comes in and they've already had filler, I'd like to wait at least six weeks, if not eight weeks before treating them. And Botox, again, same, I like to wait at least, you know, four to eight weeks. Well, as Dr. Maud begins to finish this, we're going to switch over and go over the rest of the presentation for you. Um, I think we're right about um, close to the end of the actual treatment. So I will go over um, some of the special event offers for you um, so that you will be able um, to see the specials that are, that are offered during this time. And I'd like to also add, if I may, the, this, the handle here is quite ergonomic. It's really easy to pull and to manipulate. I really do like using this device. And I also like the fact that if you're in a small space, it's a tabletop. And so it can be moved easily room to room. And it's really intuitive. It has presets and um, that makes it really easy for you to just sort of figure out where to start when you're treating certain areas. That's great. Thank you. We're, so all, we're almost done here. And I just want you to quickly, I want everyone to see just how little, you know, bleeding we have here and just how she just looks flushed. And she did so well for round, her first treatment. Wow. Are you going to come back? Absolutely. <laughs> Great, and we're going to finish you off too. That's great. Thank you so very much. And we want to go through the um, special offers that we have for you tonight. And the first part is actually on the devices themselves, the Indimed Pure um, platform, the one that you saw being used um, tonight. And then the pro, actually we have that one um, in another office um, being used presently. So the promotion is for either system, um, if you qualify, we will actually give you a 24 month deferral actually on the payments for the system. So you have it in your office in use for 24 months um, without making um, the payments for it. The payment for the Pure System is $1,152 a month. Um, so it makes it really um, economical. Um, and then on the Pro System, the same thing, 
Um, you get the 24 month deferral, you get 24 of our serums kits, and that's the copper mist, the um, biopeptide cream, and the actual hyaluronic acid um, that comes with it. So that's to treat 24 patients, um, to send them home with those kits. And you also get 24 needles to treat those um, 24 patients. And then we have another serums offer, which is the 101010 kit, which gives you 10 of the hyaluronic acid, the copper mist, the Titan and Lift, the Cellular Renewal, the Vitamin C plus C Brightening Serum, along with your back bar of hyaluronic acid, copper mist, the cleanser, and the human-derived growth factors. You also get your um, needles here also um, with this system. Um, you get your brochures to promote the actual procedure. And if you don't mind leaving your um, information in the chat, and one of our team members will follow up with you immediately. This, um, the promotion on this is a 24 hour um, promotion um, that we actually have, and we will um, provide that for you. And just again, if you like to schedule an appointment, um, you can go to mdpen.co um, forward slash schedule to be able to schedule um, the time for your meeting. And then um, also for your product giveaway um, for the night, if you were to check your email tomorrow um, for our post-event survey, um, did you enjoy our webinar? Um, answer a few questions and we we'll enter you into the drawing um, for the recovery. And we definitely want you all to attend um, the follow-up webinar we want to send you the after pictures of this procedure um, so that you all will have those. We know that those are really important to be able to see what does our patient look like the day after? Well, how do we control that um, recovery period and what can they do um, post-procedure? So we wanted to make sure that you all have that. And again, thank you so much for attending. We really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you at our next event and have a wonderful night. Thank you again.